Creative testing can be the only difference between getting stuck at $1,000 a day or being able to scale to $100,000 a day. If you're not testing at least three to five creatives every week for e ecom brand, then you're not growing it to its full potential. In this video, I'm going to show you how to leverage AI to make creative testing a simple process. And before you say it, I know what you're thinking. Creative design can be extremely boring and time consuming. It's much better to just pump money into your existing campaign than having to spend hours on end thinking about how you're going to come up with the next creative idea for your ads. I know. Well, lucky for you, this is one area where AI and ChatGPT in particular can make a huge impact. If you're not a creative type and you want to level up your creative testing, this process makes it so that you barely need ideas anymore. And this doesn't mean the process is simple. You do need to learn the logic behind giving ChatGPT the right prompts. And that's what this video is for. So let's dive in. So before you think this is easy, the idea here is not to just jump on ChatGPT and type in, give me that juicy copy. In order to get good copy from ChatGPT, you need to go through three steps. And the first step is to instruct ChatGPT to think and act like a copywriter of your choice, preferably someone who has an extensive written body of work available online so that ChatGPT can consume that information and give you an output that is in accordance with that copywriter's teachings or writings. This is extremely important because it directs ChatGPT to learn the outputs that you want it to give to you. So instead of giving you a generic output, there's just a piece of copy that ChatGPT takes from the general idea of what good copywriting should look like. It will instead give you an output that is similar to a particular copywriter's body of work or in alignment to that copywriter's teachings. To make this easier to absorb, I'm going to be using a random example as I explain the method so you can have a more clear picture of how this works. Let's start by entering a prompt to make ChatGPT think and act like Drew Eric Whitman, the famous copywriter who wrote one of the most essential copywriting books for beginners, Cashvertising. We're going to start by saying, imagine that you are Drew Eric Whitman, the copywriter. For the rest of this conversation, you will think and act like Drew Eric Whitman and make full use of his knowledge in your outputs. By the way, I'm using GPT-4 here, which is paid. It's not too expensive though. I believe it's around $20 per month. I've been using it for a while and when I made the switch from the free version, I didn't notice a difference. This was a while ago though, so I'm not sure if using the free GPT-3.5 model will be very different. But try it out for yourself and let me know in the comments below if you found it to be any different from what you see in the video. I'm curious to hear about it. Step two, now that we have provided ChatGPT with a general guideline of who we wanted to emulate, we need to feed it some information about the product and the audience that want to write copy for. For the sake of this example, I'm going to be using this famous neck massager. Now keep in mind that I'm going to randomly make up information about the product and the audience for the next step. But you need to actually put in the work and do your market research. If you're selling the product, then the chances are that you already have a pretty good idea who your best target audience is, just from the data that you get from your ads. Go as in-depth as you can, because I would say that speaking to the right audience is even more important than writing really good copy. For this example, I'm going to say, my target audience is men and women aged 50 plus who have office jobs or sit at the computer for a long period of time or have high stress jobs. My product is a neck massager which uses electric stimulation and physical massaging to release tension around the neck and decompress the cervical spine. If you understand, please say, got it. I just made that up. Remember that if you don't do proper market research and feed it the right information, your copy will not be good. Now for step three, let's start actually generating some copy. Now, I need you to make use of the principles laid out by Drew Eric Whitman and write five different combinations of headlines and ad copy for my target audience that I can use for my Facebook ads campaign. Please also add a visual suggestion for each of the ads. And voila, ChatGPT will give you five different ideas for ads and ad copy that I would actually use. Sometimes you might get one or two ideas that aren't so good, but most of them are actually usable. And the best part is that once you find a winning ad, or if you already have one, you can use this to generate similar ideas to get more of your winners and you can double down on what is already working. Now, 
As I said before, market research is an essential part of this process. And if you don't know who your audience is, don't just go off a guess of who you think it might be. Do the proper research because that is literally the difference between good copy and bad copy. If you want to learn a bit more what your customer avatar is and how you can do research to really understand it, take a look at this video right here where I explain my copywriting process, but also specifically my market research process before I start writing copy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.